Alright, like, he's rapping, up, he's being himself. This is what I like about <laughs> Someone asked me to react to this video. K Freeze straight out of sand. So I'm about to see what he's talking about. It's your boy T. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and hit that bell button, notification bell, to let you know when I'm about to upload. I read Christ, he changed my life He paid the sacrifice for my sins All praises go to him I'm forgiven Cause I'm straight out of sin Okay Hey, homie, I'm straight out of sin Hey, homie, I'm straight out of sin Hey Is this a music video? Cause whoever edited this didn't do a good job If you wanna talk about God or anything like that At least make the editing better You know Like to me I mean, you don't have to sound, I mean, the quality sound better so I can hear you better, but the video got to look top notch, bro. Homie, I'm straight out of sin. Hey, homie, I'm straight out of sin. Okay. You from a place where gangbanging is religion. You from a place where jail is a badge of honor. Who grew up without a father. Don't trip because you have one up in heaven. He'll accept you with open arms. Okay. He will keep you safe away from harm. You all about your money, I see you get paid. Different women, I see you getting laid. But homie, is you saved? You might have the chicks, you might have the whips, you might have the kicks. Now, this right here, I might like this song because of my belief or whatever. Like, people might like this song because they go to church. But if you're trying to win somebody over, this might not, like, a lot of people, they, they, some people don't take church that serious like everybody else do. Like, he probably takes church real seriously, you know. If you're trying to win somebody over, this ain't, ain't going to be the song. Like, this ain't going to be the song to win somebody over to God. You get what I'm saying? It's not. I mean, not everybody's going to listen. The only people that's going to listen is the people that go to church. Nobody going to listen to that, to listen to this song on a daily basis like that. Now, if you keep asking people to listen to it, like, I know he ain't trying. I know this dude ain't trying to get big off this song. And I know he could have did better. If he had better editing. I got crumbs in my freaking keyboard. But, yeah. I bet if he get better editing and stuff, uh, this will probably be a better video. You might have the clothes, but do you have eternal life? Homie, it's time to think. Don't smoke or drink. I ain't trying to judge, but your body's a temple. You should treat it as such. I ain't trying to judge, but your body's a temple. You should treat it as such. To me, bro, he's offbeat. I, I don't know what y'all thinking, but this dude is offbeat. And if he is rapping on beat, let me know. Like, he's offbeat a little bit. Like, he's on beat on some of his flows, and then he's offbeat. I don't know if he's rapping on and off beat, and that's the way how he trying to flow. He trying to be different, but I think it could been better. I'm just, I Christ, and I don't even listen to a minute of it. But the sacrifice for my sins, all praises go to him. Okay. Because I'm straight out of sin. Hey, homie. I'm okay. I see what he's doing, but this is funny. The reason why I say it's funny, why are you talking about God and you doing stuff that they do in uh music videos? Well, they talk about guns and having a strap. This dude talking about Jesus saying, save your life, I'm straight out of sin, pop, pop, pop. Like, you, you know that sound language. Like, this is funny. Like, you just, look, if I just do this, I'm, I'm going I'm to I'm play this. I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm talking sin. about. Hey, homie, I'm straight out of sin. Hey, homie, I'm straight out of sin. Hey, homie, I'm straight out of sin. Imagine a place filled with love, no trace of hate. People ain't dying from guns. People ain't on the corner strung on drugs. No beef. We all having fun. You never gonna find that. You imagine that. That ain't gonna happen, bro. That probably happened at your church, bro. But that, that ain't gonna happen. Nobody ain't gonna wanna be perfect these days. These people wanna do their own thing. Everybody's grown. Everybody got their own mindset. That's all that I could think of. Like, this song ain't a bad song. I think it's just that. You know, as as time went on, if I'm going to listen to Christian rap, they better speak something that I, if I listen to it and I share it with somebody, it don't sound corny. Because if you're speaking about God and stuff, you got to be you got to be top notch, bro. 
you gotta talk about what's happening now and trying to relate to what the Bible is saying. Right here, this is something that a typical pastor say to win people over when they are young. But people that's like old enough, that's like in their twenties or late twenties or late thirties or whatever, you know, if they not really going to church, they ain't gonna listen to that. Let me be one hundred. They're not gonna want to listen to this. This part will like part you probably can win young kids with this. People that really don't know anything about God, but people that actually study the Bible and they kind of try to contradict the Bible or they trying to say the Bible is fake, whatever the case may be, you ain't gonna be able to win them over. See, I want to I want to see if I can find a Christian rapper that can actually win people like that over. You get what I'm saying? People that really like atheists and stuff like that. You ain't gonna win no atheists with this. You you might. I ain't talking down on it. It's just that the words that he's using, like you gotta be top notch. I ain't finna sugarcoat nothing. Just because he's speaking about God doesn't mean it's going to change the world. No, that's not how that works, bro. That's not how that works. Like, what's the name prove that? Uh, Tupac talked about that in one of his songs. Like, I mean, I think somebody said, you uh, you ain't real to someone kill you or something like that. Like, nobody don't think of you or don't even listen to you until somebody kill you or something. You know what I'm saying? And then, then people want to listen to your songs and see what you're talking about. If he was on that activist stuff. Nobody really wasn't listening to Tupac like they listen to him now. Like after he was gone, like people listen to Tupac probably every single day after he passed, bro. Like people that never listen to rap, listen to rap because of Tupac passing. I'm just saying. But the words that he using is like basic stuff that you already heard in church. I want to hear something new. Tell me something. See if you can quote some scriptures. That you living by. Show me proof that what you're saying actually lives in, in, in within you. Tell me that God will actually live within you. Don't sit up there and just be rapping about stuff that you learn in, in Bible study. Give me some more advanced stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like make the make the rap sound so good that people won't even think that you're talking about God. But they'll see that you're about God. And then they'll actually can get delivered what you're saying in your in your raps. You know. That's how I look at it. Like this right here, this is too basic. Imagine a place with no wicked or evil. Race don't matter. We get treated equal. This place. Now that right there, uh, I'm about to disagree with you. The same people that wrote the Bible is the same racist folks that, you know, they taught you that Bible. They taught your pastor about that Bible. You know, I would suggest you to read that Bible for yourself so you can understand that be honest, we not even supposed to be trying to get along like that. It was already segregation in the Bible. I mean, the Bible talks about segregation. Like, they separated us from... Like, I'm just saying, like, if you actually look in the Bible, I, I'm going to ask him that question. Anybody that go to church, if you're a black, when you watch, when you go to Bible study or Bible school or whatever, anything like that, all the people that they show in the movies are white, bro. Why are they teaching y'all... That everybody in the Bible is white. Where are y'all at in the Bible? They said everybody came from Abraham, right? Well, wh where did we come from then? If we came from Abraham, if everybody came from Abraham, what seed did we come from? If we all equal, why why are we why are we the ones that became slaves and everybody else is on top of us? Why the world we in the bondage? Why we got brainwashed? And now we just new to this thing. We don't even know. Like like basically if you think about it, half of us is still not woken up yet. We think we woke. We're not woke, bro. The reason why we're not woke because we're not like we we still at the bottom. We our people are still starving. You get what I'm saying? I ain't saying that like don't be grateful what you already have. Yeah, I'm grateful what I have, but my people they are still starving. They still are struggling and stuff like that. Going through stuff of being a black man and being a black woman. Now, just being a black man like that's even hard as it is, you know. A black woman, they get a little more leeway because they females. But being a black man, they already look at us like, you know, criminals. They always trying to discriminate us and trying to talk, belittle us. So that's why a lot of uh, people out like outside or overseas that come over here don't really respect us as black men. You know, it's it just how it is because they look at us like, as criminals as it is. when they Before they even come over here, they think we criminals. So, like, stuff like that. That's stuff that I want to hear people rap about. If you Christian, I want to hear you rap about why we black. Yo, you know, why we black and why 
I ain't saying like why like why the color of us being black, but I'm talking about why did we become like slaves? I want you to rap about all of that. You know what I'm saying? And how do we know what the white man taught us is the right thing that we we supposed to know who God is? How how do we know that if you know we was in slavery during a time when we couldn't even read the Bible to even study for ourselves? You get what I'm saying? So they could have told us anything during that time, and we would have took that and ran with it. And then when we actually trying to read the Bible. We already learned whatever the white man told us at that time. Now, as we got advanced, yes, we started cracking down codes. And we started looking in more into it. And some people actually believe that Jesus was black. Everybody in the Bible was black. It was just like a few white people here and there. And you also got to think, like, the Israelites was kind of manipulated the same way how the black people are manipulated today. So that's the only thing I want to know, you know. And then how in the world... When we, if we was here when we was naked, who told us that we was naked? You get what I'm saying? Like, who told us that we was naked? And then also, when God made the the garden, like it's a whole bunch of stuff in the Bible that we need answers for. If I can find a rapper, not a rapper that can give the answers, but a rapper that can explain, that actually make it make sense, that actually line up to what the Bible is saying, and not make it sound fairy tale, like, you know what I'm saying, like. Then I'll actually go with that rapper because most of these rappers out here that rap about God, it's like it's too basic for me to actually listen to. Like this right here is too basic. Like yeah, it might sound good, people might want to listen to it, but it made me think. Like I, I can say this: this is a good song if you want to play it for a church, but if you want to put it out on the streets for your people to hear to get people from you know doing drugs and all that. Yeah, you might be able to deliver people with that. I don't know, but me, I think I'm a little too. Advance for this, you know, you might be able to, you know, deliver people that really like they believe in God, but they haven't went to church and they just never actually read a book in their life since they was in school. They stopped reading books, you know, and they not really like researching to see, okay, why did this happen? Why did that happen? I'm actually researching stuff like that. So for me to actually listen to something like this, I have to be, you know, not open-minded and just be closed off to everything and just be on one thing. And I know that, you know, everybody's belief is different, but my belief, I believe that, you know, if you're going to sit up there and speak about God and stuff, show me what's in the scriptures, what you're talking about. Is it, is it, does it actually say that in the Bible that we are equal? Because they didn't really say that in the Bible. I ain't seen nothing like that in the Bible that we are equal. In the Bible, it says that we were separated from everybody. I mean, that's how I look at it. That's what I believe. I believe that black people were separated from everybody. And we, we was the one that, that was slaves back then. We was slaves now. So, I don't know. They could tell us anything. And when they freed us, as, like the person that freed us as slaves gave us Ten Commandments, Thou shalt not kill, this and that, and the third. I'm just being 100. Like, this is just me, what I believe in. So, he might believe that, you know, everybody is equal. Everybody gets saved by God. But I don't want to just believe just that. Like, what happened? How did we get here? How do we get to the point where everybody's trying to come together? How do, how do we get here to where black people are still getting looked upon as criminals so they automatically shoot them because they scared of them? How do we get looked upon like that? Hit the like button subscribe, man. Man, I bet half the people that be rapping about guns and selling dope probably go to church every Sunday. They probably, like, he's rapping, he's being himself. This is what I like about this dude right here. He's being himself. He ain't being something that he's not. He ain't out here saying, I'm about to go slang dope. He ain't, he ain't doing nothing that like that for the fame. He's, you know, standing for the Lord. He's going to get advanced. He's going to he's gonna grow from this. This right here is just like the beginning. He just getting a little view. So now he's going to put out more songs. So, yeah. It's a pretty good song. I don't know if he's going to win souls over with it, but it's a pretty good song. So don't get it twisted. Hey. Go check out my Twitch stream Saturday nights, Sunday nights, Saturday, whatever. Just go ahead and check out my Twitch and go follow me. Hello, YouTube. Hey, go check out my Twitch stream Saturday nights, 